Ugh. I'm walking on it. So I had ordered a truckload of wood, firewood for the following winter and I didn't realize what I actually had nowhere to put it. So this wood store was a last minute decision and I also only had one day in which to do it before the weather turned bad. So I couldn't make it too complicated. I was going to make this log shed two logs deep and then I remembered I only had one post to hold one row in place so I'll have to pack the logs creatively so that they don't fall out. So I've had a pile of wood laying behind my shed for a while now uh, from previous projects. Uh, one of them was a gazebo uh, which I ended up not using. So the posts are 100 by 100 uh, the feather edge cladding was 150 mil, and then I had some 2x2 two two or 50x50 50 50 battens, which I use for the frame under the roof. So after cutting my post to the correct height, I start cutting the top beam, uh, put left draw in them just to give it a, a little bit of extra strength and make it look a bit nicer. You can see these posts have got the uh, threaded rods sticking out of them from the previous pergola. I'll be using those in the concrete to give them, well, just to secure them to the ground really. And with the post cut and the top plate done, I use the top plate to mark out the position of the post on the ground. I use the SDS drill to make light work of the holes where the post will be sitting.
I make the frame for the roof out of 2x2s or 50 by 50 mil treated pine. Screwing them together with wood screws. Yes, that back piece is not the same, but I ran out of timber, so I used something from a, a decking I had done. Here I'm using furring strips, which I'd made for the pergola. Uh, not, not a huge fall on them, but like I say, I wanted to use up the wood, so I'm just sticking, sticking them in there. And this is this is the 150 mil feather edge that I'm using here. I did have full strips that I could have used on here, but uh, I just decided to use some of the offcuts and just piece them all together in like a patchwork fashion. Uh, I'm thinking about making a another shed for myself because believe it or not, I've run out of space. This wood looks terrible, but it's it's literally just a bit of mold. All the wood is treated, and yeah, it's only been out there for about a year, so there's nothing wrong with it. As soon as we're on the subject of wood, I would just quickly talk about the axe I bought when I start, when I got my wood stove. And this axe it weighs about 80, 85 grams. Um, it's a bit light, especially if I get a if I get a piece of wood with a, a kind of a swirl or a knot in it. It doesn't quite split it easily or Sometimes it doesn't split it at all. So I then moved on and got myself a splitting X, which weighs about four times as much. And that is what, eight pounds or three, three and a half kilos. But it's so heavy, I just can't seem to control it. I can't, I can't accurately chop the wood with it, so I don't use it. But if you were looking to get an X, I'd probably get something in between, maybe two kilos or four pounds. Uh, that should be sufficient. And this was the hardest part actually, because it was a really windy day. And once I'd made the roof, I didn't realize how heavy it actually was. And it, on top of that, it was wet because it had been raining. So yeah, a little bit of a stretch trying to get that up there, but yeah, eventually got it done, screwed it on and worked out fine. And the next day the wood arrived. And it actually took me longer to repack all my wood than it did to make the wood store.